This episode of Paddle TV is brought to you by the ACA, improving the paddle sports experience for over a century. Learn more at AmericanCanoe.org. The three golden rules are a set of rules that when followed will let you paddle the most efficiently and help keep you safe on the water. You need to choose an appropriate paddling location. You need to have a plan in case you capsize. And you need to let your upper and lower bodies work independently but cooperatively with each other. Choosing an appropriate paddling location is directly related to your skill level on a kayak. As a general rule, if you venture into water that isn't protected from wind and waves, and or if you travel further from shore than you can comfortably swim, you're entering a new world. A world in which you'll need to protect yourself and the people you're paddling with by taking a coastal kayaking course, which among other things, teaches you valuable exposed water rescue skills. If you have the skills necessary to paddle on water that's exposed to wind and waves, then choosing an appropriate paddling location means taking other factors into consideration, like weather, tides, and tidal currents. Regardless of your skill level, when you're paddling in open water, situations can get dangerous quickly, and so it's always a good idea to be conservative with your decisions. The second golden rule is to have a plan that you're confident being able to execute in the case that you capsize. The ultimate solution if you capsize is rolling your kayak upright. And if you have any interest in paddling in rougher conditions or in surf zones, then I would highly recommend taking a rolling clinic and developing a roll that you can trust. If you can't roll, then you're gonna end up doing a wet exit if you capsize. And so you need to know whether you can re-enter your kayak from the water. Now, re-entering a touring kayak from the water isn't a simple matter, and you'll need the help of another competent paddler to do it. And so if you want to learn how, you really need to take a coastal kayaking course. If you haven't taken a course and learned how to re-enter your kayak from the water, it doesn't mean you can't enjoy the wonders of kayaking. It just means that you should always stay close enough to shore that you can comfortably swim in if you need to. The third golden rule is to let your upper and lower bodies work independently, but cooperatively with each other. This means staying loose at the hips so that while your upper body performs one task, your lower body can perform a totally separate one. For example, your upper body might be actively driving your kayak forward while your lower body holds your boat on edge. Ultimately, this separation of your upper and lower bodies is what opens the doors to more advanced paddling techniques and lets you deal with more challenging paddling conditions. So there you have it, the three golden rules of kayak touring. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you have, then please subscribe to our Paddle TV YouTube channel and stay tuned for lots more kayaking tips and tricks.